welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video i literally enjoyed filming my last like awesome vlog so so much and i'm honestly when i say i'm obsessed with watching awesome vlogs at the minute it's literally a real obsession like every time i see someone post an awesome vlog it's like literally drop what you're doing and watch that so i thought i'd film another one because i thought i'm having a little bit of a cozy day it's currently a friday the first of october so i thought Autumn vlog, 1st of October, makes sense. So yeah, we're going to do that today. I'm working all weekend, so I thought this is kind of like a weekend day for me and I wanna make sure when I'm working weekends, I actually make time in the week to have like a weekend, if that makes sense. So today is kind of that. I've had such a chilled morning, like I've literally had like little things, bits and bobs to do, but I'm now actually having like the fun part of my day. So I thought I would start vlogging here. So if you are new here, I'd love you to stick around, join the little family and subscribe. And let's just get on with today's vlog. So first thing on the agenda, is I was gonna take my grandma out for coffee, but she wasn't really feeling up to it. So I think what I'm gonna do is take the coffee to her. So I think I'm gonna go to our little favorite coffee shop, which is so cute. It's like on a farm. So I'll show you that when we get there. I'm gonna get us both a little mocha. I'm gonna get us some cake and I'm gonna basically just take it to her because I feel like, you know, she might need cheering up. So I will take that round to her. And that is the first thing on today's little agenda. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, I'm in the car, just got Bailey in the back, ready to go. Just rang my grandma to check that she's in because I don't want to like go around and turn out she's not in. But she's in, so I'm going to surprise her with bringing the coffee shop to her, which I think is a really cute idea. So we can just chill at hers and have our coffees. Because I still haven't got a holder for my camera, I'm going to catch up with you when I get there so my camera isn't just flowing all over the place. But I will show you when we get there, I'll show you the little farm shop, I'll show you the little cafe because it's literally so cute. And I'm excited, I think I'm going to try and get like a coffee cake if they have one of those. Lovely. So I went into the cafe, obviously by myself with Bailey, trying to carry like two drinks and a piece of cake. I went for like the coffee and walnut cake, which I'll show you in a sec. But look how nice the coffees are. They're literally huge. The cups are literally so big. So I've got one mocha with oat milk and one mocha without. But the decorations here are just unreal. So it's called Poplar's Farm. But yeah, Poplar's Farm, and they have like a little cafe there. The cafe is new. It's only been there for about a month or something. But yeah, I was just saying to the lady how lovely it is, and she was giving Bailey treats. Like it's got all the pumpkin decor. I mean, if they've got that much decoration going on now, on the 1st of October, I'm coming back. I'm coming back in a few weeks for when it properly, you know, gets into autumn. Okay, so it's now actually a lot later in the day. I actually got back from my grandma's house. We had the coffee together. We had a little dog walk, which is really, really cute. And now I just feel inspired to go and get some content. So I'm gonna just go with it. I feel like because I've been so inactive on YouTube recently and same with Instagram, like I explained in my life update vlog, if you haven't seen that one, I'll link it on screen somewhere so you can go watch that. But yeah, I've basically been so inactive and I've found it hard to like get back into the swing of things, but I'm feeling like I wanna take some content today. So I'm gonna try and go and roll with it an outfit from Zara on it's like this little it's like a knitted two-piece like the top and the skirt which you'll see in the photos if I get a good photo I'll put it on the screen now the knitted two-piece and then this lovely little blazer which I'm obsessed with so we're gonna go and try and take some photos I don't know how it's gonna go I literally haven't taken photos for honestly like six months maybe so I mean I feel like I'm gonna be out of swing with it but I'm gonna try and just get a photo with these sunglasses as well they're just like these kind of like leopard print ones I'm obsessed with these these were literally like two pound from Primark and when I met my course friend the other day, I went into work for like the first time. She had these sunglasses on and I was like, you know what, we're meant to be. Okay, so this vlog has had a bit of a change in direction. I was going to just do that one day of vlogging. And then I thought like that night, I thought, hmm, maybe I'll turn this into a weekend vlog. But long story short, I literally lost my voice that weekend. So I'm just picking up the vlog here. So I thought I would do like... The vlog can now be like spend a couple of days with me because there was more stuff I wanted to include in this little vlog. So I'm first of all going to do a little get ready with me because it's the morning and I put on my story. I asked what you like to see in like weekly vlogs, daily vlogs, whatever. And one of you said a makeup or hair routine. So I thought I would just do my makeup whilst I chat in the vlog, you know. So the first thing I'm using is the Garnier BB cream. This is honestly unreal. I only actually got this because I wanted something different from foundation that I could wear to work because I felt like wearing foundation every day wasn't really the best for my skin so I picked up this and I actually used to use this literally years ago for the same reason for school like I used to think like hmm, I don't want to wear foundation every single day and I went with this 
and I loved it at the time and I've loved it again. So yeah, it's the Garnier BB Cream combination to oily skin in shade medium. And I find this just gives you a really nice, like, even skin tone. So I'm using that. I thought today we would have another like cozy autumnal vlog together. I am going to actually take a trip to HomeSense, which I will of course vlog. Uh, the next thing I am putting on is the Last Imperfection Collection Concealer. This is just a classic. I've used this again for literally years. These products are just my absolute faves and I feel like I've kind of got it down. I've got the routine down now. After my kind of base is done, I'll then just use a couple of products from Charlotte Tilbury, the Ecstasy Blush and this little bronzing palette. My favourite blushes are either Ecstasy or Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk is more of like a pinky colour, whereas this one I've already put a little bit on is more of like a warm kind of colour. So yeah, I'm going with Ecstasy. Today I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer. This is the Film Star Bronze and Glow Duo. And I use both the bronzer and the highlighter. And occasionally I'll grab this palette by Tarte, which is the Tarte Let Toasted palette. I've had this for so long. And use like a warm brown colour under my eye. I do love the Stoned Rose by Charlotte Tilbury. It's kind of like a warm orangey colour, but yeah. That is my makeup. Hopefully that was useful. Okay, the makeup, obviously we saw on camera. I'm not going to lie, there probably isn't going to be a hair tutorial in this video. I'll do it in my next weekly vlog because I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling lazy and this is all that is going to happen with the hair today. So, I thought I would really quickly show you what is in this month's glossy box because it literally just arrived. And I thought I would just give you a little haul. So, first of all, look how beautiful the box is. It says, The Magical Masquerade. I will quickly show you the products that are inside. This was very kindly sent to me by Glossybox. Thank you so much to them. First of all, we have an Aspa Tea Tree Eucalyptus Hand Spray, which I think is like a hand sanitizer, which is so cool because you know when you have those horrible hand sanitizers that, oh yeah, that's nice. You know, the ones that are like really gooey. And um, we also have Saint Lux Setting Spray, which you know what, I may as well give it a go now. I've just finished my makeup. How cool is that? The packaging is beautiful. Let's just give my makeup a little spritz. Actually, that smells unreal. That literally smells unreal. So the next thing we have in here is a little body lotion by Atomicals, which is a really cool brand. I think they have this on ASOS maybe? I don't know if I'm making that up. Oh no, I think it's Urban Outfitters actually. Pretty sure it's Urban Outfitters. But this is really cool because it actually is in support of the charity Copperfield, which is one of the charities that supports breast cancer awareness. Cool that there's that Glossy Box are supporting Copperfield as well with one of their little products, which I love. We also have a red lip stick. This is kind of like a liquid lip stick in red, which, you know, this will actually be really good for Halloween because I feel like I'm always lacking a red lipstick this time of year. So Glossy Box, I feel like they're onto something with this month's box. It's really like, it's really thoughtful. Like they've thought of everything in this month's box. That is the next thing. We've got a highlighter pen in the shade the shade champagne which i feel like could be good for like under your eyebrows oh that's nice i don't know if you can even if that's picking up on camera but it's just giving me like a shimmer that is this month's glossy box i thought i'd just give you a little haul because i love it and i think the box this month looks so cool by the way how cute is my new little setup so i've put this big decenio print i've actually had for quite a while, I had it in my uni room a while back, and I've put it in my room at home, and I think it looks really cute. I've got these little lights again, which I had in one of my uni setups at some point, so I thought I would just put it all in my room at home. I've got this new little cushion as well from Primark, and I think my room is like all coming together, so that is the little cosy setup I've made. I feel like this is the most autumnal I've felt since the start of autumn this year. Like, I've got my little fairy lights on, I've got my, like, cuddly hoodie on. I really need to get this in black because it's such a good quality hoodie. If I can find the link, I'll link it down below. It's going to be in my Zara haul that's coming sometime soon, I promise. I just need to get that edited. But yeah, I love this hoodie so much and I really want to get it in black because it's, like, super soft on the inside. It just goes with everything. So yeah, I want to get that. But what I was going to say is I feel like this is the most autumnal I've felt and I'm really, really tempted to order all of the um, vanilla pumpkin stuff from the body shop. I've been watching all of Gemma Louise Miles' um, videos and she has got all the pumpkin stuff. Like, she has a like, pumpkin mugs, she has like all the vanilla pumpkin stuff from the body shop. And I'm like, I really want to treat myself to that, but is it a bit extra? 
like do I really need to smell like a pumpkin but then I watch her vlogs and I'm like of course you do you definitely do so I think I'm going to treat myself to that they've got a deal on in the body shop at the minute which is like you can get the body butter the body wash and I think the bath bomb for 18 pounds so I think I'm going to treat myself to that now hey Bailey oh he's so cute he's been asleep for like half an hour on my bed just chilling with me Bailey yeah I don't think there's any waking him up but this is what I mean this is the deal you get like the little um, bath bomb the body lotion and the body wash for 18 pounds and look how much you're saving it's from 29.50 you know what i'm gonna add to basket i'm gonna have to just do it add all to bag okay view basket this will be in the next vlog when it actually arrives but oh, this has literally been in and out of my basket so many times and i'm like you know what georgia you keep thinking about it just get it okay I've, I've done it. The purchase has been made. I think right now I'm going to go and make a pumpkin coffee. I got the pumpkin spice syrup from TK Maxx in my last vlog, I think. And it's amazing. It literally tastes unreal. So I'm going to go make a pumpkin coffee. And then I think I'm going to get on with some uni work this afternoon. And I will catch up with you when we get to HomeSense. Okay, we're in HomeSense. And I've decided I need a bedside lamp. And I really love this one. £24.99. So we might get that. This is all the autumn colours. Like the oranges and the yellows oh they're all so soft aren't they mom mm. i've brought mum with me on the little trip hey. we haven't yet found the autumn stuff but we found the christmas cushions how insane that one says naughty mum come around here at the christmas cushions they've got so many different ones oh it's christmas sausage dogs <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, we've found the autumn set up. There's some little candles that I'm going to smell them all in a second. But this is what I'm seeing. I mean, it hasn't, we haven't got like a crazy autumn set up. Oh, look at that baking set. How good would that be for my vlogs, Mum, for a little bake with me? That is cute, but is it a bit extra to buy that just for, just for that purpose? That is really cute though. Oh, what even is that? A toaster. <laughs> a toaster. Bailey can be a toaster for Halloween. They've got little Halloween stuff here. They've got these little like Halloween wine glasses, which would be really cool for a Halloween party if you were having one. And that jug would be so cool for like a cocktail if you were having a party. Oh look, I feel like if Bailey was a girl, he could have that. Oh my God, dog pajamas. A pumpkin harness. That is so cute. Oh look, even poop bags. These must be all the dog costumes. I'm loving it. Look at that one. Okay, they've got some like Halloween-y doormats. I'm not seeing any really cute autumn ones yet though, but I will update you. Okay, we have reached some of the autumn candles. We're gonna have a smell of some of them and see which ones are the ones to get. So, there's not as many as I thought, but there actually is some really big ones and some really cute looking ones. So we're gonna have a smell. I was literally having a conversation with my friend Tasha who does YouTube as well, and she did a Home Sense vlog and I was like, I need to go and smell the candles. This one is autumn. That smells really good. Oh yeah. That's, that's really nice. It's only 12 as well and it's literally mm. huge, so that could be a potential. Like this one, apple spice, this one. Ooh. That's nice. That's like your Christmas day, that one, not really autumn. Pumpkin harvest, I feel like this is just a classic. It's like, it smells like caramel. This is nice, but it's not too strong. To me, it's quite... Mm. Oh, I like that. It's quite... That's nice. I feel like once you burnt that. it though, that would be pumpkin harvest. And also it's got nothing to hold it in, yeah, so you that's need the to buy a thing. kind of spiced pumpkin. A spiced pumpkin. Oh no. <laughs> that, there's quite a lot of them I'm not really a fan of. I feel like we need to find like a nice autumn one. Oh, that's a really nice packaging as well. It is. Look at this one. But oh, that looks very like luxurious. What's this one? Black pine and apple. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay, I'm just going to quickly show you what I picked up from HomeSense. I only got two things. There wasn't really much in there, but hopefully you enjoyed the little shop with me. I got this little notebook which says progress over perfection, which I feel like is something I really need to just start and live by. It's got like the monthly overview. It's got weekly as well. You've got like weekly schedule and then it's just got like each week. And then it's also just got like a notes section at the back. I don't know, I think it's really cute. So I'm gonna use this and that is the first thing I picked up. And then I also picked up this, which I've already burnt to see how I like it, but it's the Autumn Morning Candle. 
and this is by DW Home. It was $7.99. I think this was $6.99. So those are the two things I got. This literally smells unreal, by the way. So yeah, those are my two little purchases. Okay, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I literally forgot to do an ending when I got back from home since last night. Plus, it was super, super dark. So hopefully, you like the little mini haul was literally two items. It wasn't really much of a haul. But I feel like I need to go back or maybe visit a different home sense store if there's one near like the midlands area let me know a good one because i just went to the one in rugby yesterday and it was good but there wasn't much like autumn stuff in like there wasn't really like a big halloween setup either so i was not really that impressed i'm not gonna lie but i still had a great time it's always a great time in home sense but i was a bit sad i only came away with like two things when usually i go to home sense i feel like I just go a bit crazy but there wasn't really anything to go crazy on so yeah anyway that is going to be the end of this vlog i really really hope you enjoyed another little autumnal vlog with me i'm definitely going to do more i feel like vlogging at this time of year i love like i just love it so much so there will definitely be more vlogs that come in your way probably next thursday will be the next vlog and then probably on sunday well hopefully with the zara haul it was going to be the zara haul last sunday and i ended up being so busy and ill over the weekend that i just popped up my drive with me so yeah hopefully next sunday fingers crossed for a zara haul that is going to be my next video and the video after that is probably going to be another autumnal vlog so definitely stick around and subscribe if you want to see all of that and i'll see you in the next one bye